we got in? Yeah? Good. Hello, Tony. This is um, just a quick introduction to your new Shawm. And the first rule of Shawm ownership is uh, never pick it up by the fontanelle. Because if you do, um, it's sort of on there moderately firmly, so you'll think it's safe, and then it will come off and the instrument will slide through it, the bell will hit the deck, and there will be much wailing and gnashing of teeth. So um, don't hold it by that, and don't let anyone else pick it up by the fontanelle. It separates into two halves, like that. So that might make it easier to transport, but myself, I always leave mine put together. And you can just, I don't know if you can see that, you can just rotate the top joint until the hole is uh, central between the, um, between, uh, between the keys. Or you, you might want to um, set it slightly off or have, uh, you know, just make it comfortable for wherever your hands, how, how your hands fit it best. Um, while the, while the camera's close. So the key work is under here. Very simple. If you need to adjust it, there are two tiny screws here which press down this spring, which is what sets everything working. So if you lose some, some, some springiness, then you can just tighten that down a little bit more. Um, so that's, that's the, the main adjustment that there is, but you, you shouldn't have to do that, really. Okay, so putting the thing together. The staple goes in here. Now, it's fine to leave the instrument all in one, but when you finish playing, always take the staple or the crook out. This binding retains moisture and... Um, the end grain here, although it's sealed off, um, it, it can it, it it will get wet. So that that's where the thing is most sensitive. So when you finish playing, take that out and leave the instrument and the crook to dry naturally. Here's the reed. Um, when you from a from a cold start, just dip it in a glass of water and leave it for a couple of minutes, just for the cane to absorb some moisture and soften up a bit. It then goes on there like that. Let's make sure that it's on nice and firmly. So there it is. And um, I think you told me that you were an oboe player. So Sean uh, embouchure is much more relaxed than oboe embouchure. So you may find that your initial tendency is to play with too tight an embouchure, in which case you'll get a kind of stifled, quiet sound that you you want to sound like. That's the kind of sound quality that you want to be getting nice and fruity and round. If you over control it, then you get it. That, that's too much, um, too much bite here. Now the reed um, is adjustable within limits. So if you look at that opening there, if it becomes too uh, shut down, the instrument will go sharp. It will be very easy to play, but hard to control, uh, and it will become quiet. If this becomes too open, then the instrument will be raucous and uncontrollable. The pitch will go flat. It will be hard to play. You can adjust that open and closedness by squeezing this wire here. From front to back, it will close the reed, and from side to side, it will open it. From side to side, you'll probably need to use, very carefully, a pair of pliers from front to back finger strength will be enough, but side to side, uh, you'll need pliers. So let's pop it back. Now I believe that you played the tenor recorder. So the fingering is almost exactly the same as tenor recorder. So C, D, E, F 
covered like a recorder. F sharp is with that finger and that key. That's by far and away your best F sharp fingering. That recorder fingering really doesn't work. So F natural, F sharp, G, uh, I think there's G sharp, uh, A flat, G sharp, B flat, so like a, like a recorder. Um, and Octivation, the C is like a recorder. You may find it helpful to put those three fingers down. Sometimes it supports the note a bit. Okay, D is um, obviously six fingers and the octave, you just take that finger off. There is no rear thumb hole, so the other notes you overblow just with your embouchure. And you can get it right the way up to the C if you want. I'm not going to try now, I don't think it sounds at its best up there. Um, but. Uh, there we are, a bit weird, but it can be done. So um, that's, that's a very basic introduction. So I'm finishing playing, so I'm taking that off now, taking the reed off and putting it back in its case. Um, I did make you a... Um, hook to go on the back here so I haven't fitted that yet but I'm, I will do before I send it off. Okay, hope that helps and um, I hope you're happy with it.